Ow. They didn't say it was going to hurt. Ah, oh, we're here. We're in the new oasis. Wait, they gave us something to help us find the others. It's pointed in this direction. This way. I can't... Is it going towards that house? Do I dare go in? Hello? I fudged up. I didn't record any of it. And I'm so upset with myself that I nearly started crying. We are here. This is our new world. This is my area. It's called Kill's Home at the minute, but I'm going to call it something different. I keep hearing creepy crawlies around here, so I'm a bit scared. We got a full set of tools and a chest. And we figured out that our base is right near an abandoned village with I think there's only like two people there, which is going to be a great project to revamp and do. But yeah, we're in our brand new world. This is an absolutely stunning base. Honestly, look at the backdrop of this. I have so many ideas already, but just no way of executing them. So we are here. Luckily, we've got some animals around. I see sheep and pigs but i know there's some cows over there so maybe we can get them but now i just want to get some resources and a basic house started so i'm gonna go back the way i came because i found some wood over there that i liked it has some red trees on it so hopefully we can get a few saplings and start growing them over this area whoa look at this i never knew this was in my base Whoa, look at that. Well, we're going to have to do something special for there. Maybe we can make it into a quarry and have a big crane going down, lifting stuff up and down. That would be a good idea. Oh, there's another village over here. Whoa. Okay, so we're buying new, two new villages, which is great, but I feel like the other oh pumpkins sorry i'm stopping for pumpkins a cat oh okay i'm just gonna take a four and leave the rest look at this hello oh a blue bed i'm gonna take a blue bed because i like the color blue hello i'm just gonna oh what is this? Spruce saplings. Rice, cabbage. That is perfect. That's actually what I was looking for. So I don't need to go far at all. There's another robot there. Okay. Oh, there's another chest. <gasps> what are these? Emeralds. Okay. Sweet berries, pumpkin seeds, and bread. Brilliant. Okay. This is coming into my favour so far. I feel bad that I've looted it all, but I'm pretty sure there's a few villages nearby. There's just the same. And all iron ingots, which I don't think give me much at the minute, unless I have a bunch. Hello? Oh, another chest. A compass. Right, okay, that's... Looks kind of like my GPS thing. Oh! <gasps> I just got some iron. That's so cool. I don't have to go and get a iron to make a pickaxe. I have enough here. That is so cool. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to leave the second one just so someone has it. I feel bad if I take them all. Okay. We're going to plant these two trees so we can get more saplings in the future so we don't have to keep going away to chop them. So I'm going to put the maybe up here a little bit away from each other so that they have some room 
I'm also before I'm gonna do my house is I'm gonna pick some dirt up so that we can flatten the area a little bit not a lot but so it's not so hilly like this area maybe flatten it a tiniest bit So guys, we have finished this whole entire terraforming here. There is a few bits to do over this direction, but the majority of the area is flattened and ready for building. I just have these kind of bits here, but I'm not sure what to do around here yet. So I'm just gonna keep them in case I change my mind and decide to do something else. I also would love your guys' opinion on what I should build in my area as I've never built in this sort of style before and I would like your opinions on where I should put things and what I should build. But yeah, we've done this. Also, if you didn't notice, I'm in full armour. We went and went into the cave and got a load of iron and treasures and stuff but I unfortunately lost that recording. So you just have to trust me that we went... I nearly died and yeah we now have full armor and a few tools what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go and gather some materials needed for my build I need a lot of spruce wood and I need concrete and stone luckily we have a lot of stone from removing this little bit of a hill there we got this much stone from there which is great I am gonna make um, it into smooth stone and then brick and chiseled brick so we have that going but while i'm away gathering the materials i'm just gonna start them off in the furnace So we're nearly at the point where we have almost everything. I just do not have enough spruce. So I'm going to put this here so it can grow. So it doesn't ruin my whole grass with the ugly puddle. But let's go see what we do have and put it in a separate chest so that we know what to get. Okay, so I'm going to put them actually over here so that we know. So we have, we've got our stone and we have our, some of our tuft. We have gravel, we have sand, we have some spruce, we have a clay, more gravel. And I think that's it. I just think we need to kind of smelt this down now. Ow. I have come bearing a gift. Oh, you got diamonds already? Yeah, diamond sword, diamond axe. How? I've literally done the whole of this. This is used to be a massive hole. <laughs> so I've done um, that. Um, well, anyway, uh, here is um, a gift uh, because you might find this useful. <gasps> yes. You know how to use it? No, and it disappeared. It should be in your inventory. When you break it, it automatically goes straight into your inventory. <gasps> Oh, yes, it does. Um, if whatever you put in it, if you put a stack of cobblestone in it, for instance, no matter if you're over here and you yeah. press Alt, 
can access the toolbar's DUI, uh, the toolbox of DUI, as long as it's on the ground. <gasps> and then it will infinitely keep replacing every block back into your inventory, so you don't have to keep swapping slots. Yes. Thank you so much. Have you done much with your base? Um, it's an engineering disaster. Oh no, I must come see it one day. <laughs> okay, well, we will call it that for now. Uh, uh, but it, it, it's, I'm going to build some form of workshop. All right, engineering yeah. Engineering workshop. And I'm then just, yeah. I've got a lot of leveling to do. Yeah, well, I would do it, but a bit, I don't want to do it. I don't want to see dirt again for the rest of my life. I like this. I like this is one of my favorite biomes in the entire game. The sunflower plains. Yeah, I have a little bit of a sunflower plains, and then it goes into like, like almost a tiger biome. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm, 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 I'm taking this sunflower. Take it. I will not use them. <laughs> oh, I will. No, I'm literally like I've I've still got this to do down here, and then I'm building my house up there, so. I have so much to do. I found some really strange fish. I found one called a bluegill and oh, right. one called a koi. And then CC dropped by last night and then made me eat a catfish. Ew. <laughs> you ate a cat called fish? A catfish. <laughs> yeah. I just had bread. I have infinite amount of bread because that village over there has wheat. <laughs> So, oh, does it? yeah, it has a load of wheat. So if you want any, there's loads over there. Yeah, I may pop by and oh, I see. Are they carrots? I yes, think they're carrots. Yeah, they are. Oh, I try hey. not to take them because I already have loads. But there's also coarse oh. dirt over there, which is great. <laughs> on my head. Yep. Ew! It's gonna shit on your head. Sorry, French mouth. <laughs> That's gonna have to be edited out. <laughs> Just bleep it, bleep it over. <laughs> um. Right. Uh. Okay, I'll go to head back. Do some more waffling. Okie dokie. Thank you for my present. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Little bird. Bye. You killed the bird? No. It, it was spinning on the floor. I picked it up and now it's flying away. It's been just where I put it. I'm putting my bird in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so after a while of gathering all materials, we finally have enough to start our build so i think i'm gonna put it over here maybe over there instead and then leave this for a bigger build but yeah let's get into the time lapse Thank you. 
So guys, as you've seen from the time lapse, we've been pretty busy. We have done our house. We have done the some of the interior. We have this attic kind of storage room up here. My bed's here at the minute because I, I'm stupid and didn't light up the underfloor of this because it's a hill. So there are mobs down there. So we finished the house. We also did a path going down. The house has got a little bit of detail to do, like add some more brick variants into the bottom to make it more detailed. And I think I'm going to add some gates to the top of the build just to give the windows some definition. But we did this and we also made this hill, we terraformed this area and I really love it. I've never really done anything like this before with the hill and the path. So I'm pretty, pretty pretty proud of it we also decided to do this area here so this used to be just flat and i terraformed it with different slabs and textured rock and now it looks like it's gone into it this is eventually going to be where we start our strip mine so there will be a door here on this side going downwards so that we don't have to keep going into that big cavern the whole time but yeah this is very 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 like this is a lot for me to do in one day so I'm very proud of what I've done and I think it's coming together really cute and especially when you look from oops from over here with the the stairs going up and the house on the mountain I think it's gonna look very very cozy and cute when other builds are on and we get our farming done but yeah I really love it so far I'm not sure what else to do today. I think I might see about the path being um connected to the mine and then maybe we could put a fountain here and that's where all the paths go towards. So I'm very, very proud of my build today. We need to add the campfire on top of the the house, but at the moment I haven't got one. And yeah. I'm really excited I'm really happy with what I've done I honestly this is the most terraforming this is the most terraforming I've ever done and I'm so proud of myself and the bird lady <laughs> Okay guys, I think we're going to leave it there for today. We have done so much in terms of terraforming and building. I think this is the biggest project I've ever done and will ever do. I give props to whoever does terraforming on a daily basis because I never want to see dirt for as long as I live. I completely am in love with our starter base. It's something completely different to what I've done before in terms of it's actually on a terrain where usually I do it flat and it has no body to it. So I'm really proud of myself for coming out of my comfort zone. I'm proud that we also got the mine entrance completed. Although it needs still needs a little bit of detailing. However, the majority of it is done. And I'm excited to see your suggestions in the comments on what buildings you would like to, me to do and what style you kind of want me to have this area as we have so much potential in so many different builds we can do so much to this hill and this area and i'm looking forward to reading every single comment and seeing what you guys would love to see me do next here are the bloopers Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, I.
<laughs> no! I have to walk all the way back. Stupid. You should just dig down. No. I actually can't get up. 